Hey guys, it's Jesse from GrawlixPodcast.com. A little change of scenery today. Um, upstairs in the library, which is basically like a hoarder's stack of books. But uh, the topic of today for the hashtag SCS challenge is what comics have you had the most fun reading? And uh, so, I mean, like, that's kind of similar to funny, but it's a slight twist to it. And so it got me thinking a slightly different angle. And uh, so the first one that I thought of is, is is the comics that really kind of got me back into reading comics and collecting comics. And it like it, it was Daredevil, but Daredevil was the one I remember thinking I need to collect. But it wasn't the one that kind of got its hooks in me. And, and I was like, okay, I just have to do this full time now. And that uh, book was actually a lot of fun. And it was... Marvel Comics did a run on Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. They did the comic book adaptation of Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. And then uh, Evan Dorkin, who wrote and drew these comics for Marvel Comics, uh, did Bill and Ted's excellent comic book. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Took a lot of strange deviations. And his artwork is just bizarre. I mean, like, here's the image on the back of the book. I don't even know what's going on in that image, but Death, uh, I think he's working for pretzels and cheese, and it's not going well. So, which is, like, fun fact, that's where Bill and Ted worked in the second movie, was pretzels and cheese. Um, so that's the first one, and I've got two more. Uh, the second one you've heard me talk about before, and uh, it's less it's less mainstream, and it's much more indie. It started as a uh, webcomic, and it's been my funniest comic for quite a while uh you know mind of a child it's it's pretty funny <laughs> you know take a take an adult and and you know render these childlike ideas so perfectly yeah your eyes aren't deceiving you that's a t-rex with a minigun for an arm yeah axe cop bad guy earth <clears throat> There's tons of uh, volumes of this. They're put out by Dark Horse Comics now, but they're available for pretty much in the entirety online for free. I think I think maybe Bad Guy Earth is uh, like a direct-to-graphic novel thing, so it might not be available online for free, but the, I'd, I'd say a good 90% of the comic is available free and online at axcop.com or something like that. So I have a lot of fun with that one because it just goes off the rails on the crazy train big time. And the last one, Marvel Comics. I have a soft spot for this team. They're definitely not the world's most beloved team by any mean. Uh, they started the Civil War in a sense with this book right here where they <laughs> created a reality show based out of their adventures. Uh, but I, they've always been a lot of fun. And this book in particular, yeah, it's signed by Scotty Young there. Um, the artwork's awesome. Uh, the idea is campy and fun and kind of breathe new lives into uh, the New Warriors. And then uh, then it got real dour for a while. And it didn't look like we were going to get a good New Warriors team for some time. But they came back with this book. And this was the first time in a long time that we'd seen Speedball back in his Speedball outfit because he was penance for a long time and that was awful. And they do a nice job of still calling back to that in this. It's not like penance is gone from his life, but he's chosen to kind of move on a little bit. Um, and he chooses not to go to that dark place where penance is. And uh, this is where we get uh, Jake Waffles and Mr. Whiskers. And... Who doesn't want to know more about that? Well, take a look. It's in a book. But don't take my word for it. Reading Rainbow. Anyways, those are the fun ones for me. And uh, so I hope you enjoy those. I hope you take a look at these. I think these are good books. I wouldn't say they were if they weren't. Or if I didn't believe it. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, looking forward to hearing your fun answers and seeing if we're... I'm always looking for some new fun books that somebody could recommend to me, as you can see. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you tomorrow.